Aloha, all, and welcome back to Let's Play Sly 2 Bandit Thieves. I'm Paper Mario Guy, and in the last episode, we made it all the way to the final mission, Operation Choo Choo, and that's what we're going to be picking up with today. But first, let's move over to the, uh, what is it called? I forgot. Uh, by Thief.net? Yeah, there we go. Or Thiefnet. Um, I actually went off screen and I found a booby trap piece of fine art that is located in the bear cave and it sold for about 700 coins and now I have 1800 so I'm actually going to buy the hover pack and I'm also going to buy the alarm clock so now we're all caught up with Sly and we're still very far behind on Bentley and Murray but at least we're making some progress so some progress is better than none but now let's make some actual progress that people care about by going and doing Operation Choo Choo. So you need to select Murray and then walk right outside. Hop aboard, guys. We've got a train to catch. Operation Choo Choo is pretty awesome, I have to say. Got it. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. The Murray's strength knows no limit. You're on, Sly. Break into that train and steal the clockwork stomach. That John Bassan's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts, and he walks away with the stomach and lungs? It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique handcar at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. Alright, so now we have a, uh, similar to the previous mission, we have another mission of Sly going up and down these, uh, what are they called? Uh, Iron Horse Trains. That's it. That's it. So, it just, uh, just be careful. Um, and if you can... Wait for him, that mean moose right there, to, uh, you know, fall asleep. Because they eventually will. And then you can make it fast. And, like, what the hell is this? This is crazy. But it's actually not as intense as you thought it was. I believe this is actually a little bit of a maze. You actually might be able to get lost. Though I'm not sure. They make it pretty straightforward, I think. But the Iron Horse Train number three is definitely a lot more heavily guarded than the previous ones. As you can see, Jean Basson himself is guarding this one, more than likely because of the fact that, like, his other two trains were robbed and, you know, he wasn't there to protect them. So he thinks that if he's there, he's going to make a difference. But in all reality, he's not. He's really not. Jean Basson, while he is my favorite, reminds me a lot of Krillin. Krillin always wants to try to be, you know, helpful and be there, but it makes no difference. Hey Koopa, thought I might find you here. Just can't stay away from these clockwork parts, can you? No, oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Koopa. Let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. You should be a quick bit of okay so now we have a chopper battle with Neela well not actually a chopper battle but uh, you know what I meant um, uh, you can actually shoot really really fast it's just about a uh, I think you could shoot about as fast as you can tap which is you know if you could tap really fast then that's you know excellent for you but she's going to actually start sending out some planes, and they're like more like the heat-seeking type. Um, they, 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 it can actually get kind of difficult, I'm not going to lie. You know, uh, I'm taking way too many hits. But maybe I can, I can still get it. Just got to go really fast. Really fast. <laughs>
That was some fancy flying, little friend. Whatever you say, poodle. <laughs> Bentley, you cocky piece of crap. <laughs> anyway, that was some uh, pretty fast tapping. I'm not a... It, I've, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in a video before, but I have to say, as a gamer, I do not tap my buttons very fast. I'm not by any means an expert tapper. Um, in fact, I actually tap kind of slow, I feel, compared to most gamers. Especially in comparison to my friends. That's for damn sure. I, you know, I thought for a while that it was just, you know, my brother and Shadowy Productions who could tap faster than I could. And, you know, for a while that was true because that's pretty much the only people I played with, you know, when it came to video games. Oh, get out of here! There's no way, no, shenanigans, I did not even, you were asleep. Get away. See, it's like you always get hit with the counterattack. It's like almost impossible to not get hit with the counterattack. Anyway, so what I was saying is, like, for the longest time I thought it was just that, but the more I think about it, I feel like Caboose can tap just a, uh, probably just about as fast as me. I don't know. I mean, I haven't really paid attention, but when I uh, when I met Shadow Mario 41 at PAX East, he tapped faster than me. When I play online with a lot of people, it's either either it's a glitch or, you know, most people can just tap faster than me. So I'd say that's probably a big weakness of me as a gamer, at least at a, a competitive gamer. It usually doesn't hurt me too much in... Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to... Do. Oh, okay, hey, it worked out. How about that? I really thought that I was going to attract his little buddy over here. And I, I mean, I did, but he didn't see me. Um, but I mean, it usually doesn't help me in, you know, video games that require tapping. I feel like most games are pretty generous when it comes to, uh, you know, how fast you have to tap in, like, a story-related segment of a game, but definitely, you know, definitely not a fat, like, I can't even, I can't win most tapping minigames in Mario Party 2. I've gotten better, you know, now I think I can win, uh, Shy Guy, uh, or, um, Skateboard Scamper, um, Skateboard scampers uh, used to used to give me you know quite a bit of a problem, but uh, I, I'm pretty good about that. Uh, and I'm trying to think of you know some other games that you know maybe I'm a little bit better at now. All right, I knew that was happening. All right, let me just run. If I run far enough away, they'll probably just forget about me, and that's really what I need. Okay, let me also see. I now have this alarm clock thing, by the way, because I just bought this. And this is actually could be... This actually can be pretty good. You just need to throw it, and, uh... It will distract most of your enemies, so... That's all you need to know about that. <sighs> I knew it was going to happen again. Alright, well, it's okay. Alright, I'm not gonna die against this guy. He doesn't stand a chance. Alrighty. So he's ta been taken out, and now we can go again. See, I was supposed to get in here and not be caught at all, but... What are you gonna do? But, we are finally at the end of Iron Horse number three, so let's get our stomach. Like John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. And that's just what we'll do. A well placed bomb down the train smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Not so fast, John. The clockwork part is mine. Didn't I take you out already? What is this? Alright, more fast tapping. Now we're gonna get attacked from behind, though, I believe. Oh. Oh no, we're gonna get attacked from below, which I find this e section probably is gonna wind up being easier, because now you just have to deal with the red dots and not so much the uh, the other section. I mean, it, it, it combines both, but I don't know, I, I just feel like it's much more bearable than the other one was. Oh man, I'm, I'm tapping at, like, 
Eyes going nuts right there. For me, the fast tapping. I don't know. For those of you who maybe have played this game and maybe you guys can go faster. I don't know if there's a limit on how fast you can go, but I felt I was going pretty fast. And I'm actually making quick work of Neela. She doesn't stand a chance. Why does Neela have such a great interest in the clockwork parts? I've got an upset stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. Oh, Sly, you... Punny, punny man, you. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replace Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clear her name. Some way other than turning myself in. Well, while Sly does that, we're gonna relax in between episodes. Because we have one more person to deal with in this wonderful game, and that's the last member of the Claw Gang, and that's Arpeggio. Will we deal with Arpeggio in the next episode or not? Who knows, but I guess you'll just have to tune in next time to find out. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm Paper Mario Guy of the Koopa Ninja Bros, and I'll see you guys all next time.